Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 3 of Wandering Witch. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Maybe. I mean... Yeah, just hope and pray you don't run into anything. I wonder what she's going to get into today. I don't know. Maybe we'll meet a new character today. I, I don't think, you know, that could ha anything could happen. I, I won't know. We won't know until we watch the freaking episode. But it was a really cute opening to start. That's still such a pretty shot. I just want to, you know what? Hopefully the creditless opening comes up soon because I want to just take a really good screenshot of the rain scene and just like whenever I get an iPad because that is my goal. My birthday is this weekend and I don't think I'll be able to get an iPad because of course in quarantine there is really nothing on sale. I mean I don't even think we're going to have a Black Friday this year because if you go to stores, like, I went to my local Walmart, like, three days ago. All they really have is, like, some TVs, not as much tablets and stuff. I'm just trying to get a tablet. I want a tablet so I can play most of my rhythm games on a tablet. <laughs> but I would probably use that as my wallpaper. Hell, I'm probably going to have to buy it off of Amazon. as pretty as a flower. <laughs> hmm? oh. And there's a girl. Oh, she kind of looks like Snow White, except with red hair. so pretty. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, that seems simple. Mm, basically, yeah. You are gonna come back, though, right? I love her outfit. I'm so cute. My God. Elena has to come back to see this girl. Because she is pretty as a flower. Hmm? What's wrong? Just flowers. Jesus. Are you the guy we're supposed to give it to? No, I, I, I think it... Oh. 
Okay, so either one of two things. This guy is either crying, oh, he's crying over the girl, but is the girl his lover or family member? There we go! <laughs> oh. Really? What? So you, oh, wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me. Oh. So she's dead. What if you go back? I mean, huh. Oh, 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 I don't want to deal with another death episode. I just dealt with that in Assault Lily. Oh. So now what? I've never heard of like flowers killing people maybe like you know plants other plants besides flowers but like oh my god oh, that's some nightmare fuel not possible and maybe you have to purify it she's gonna be there isn't she There's nothing else you can do for him. That is so fucked up. But they're together now. That's all that matters. But highly fucked up. I mean, oh. Poor baby. Zombies? Flower zombie people? Uh, 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 uh. That's it? We're not getting anything? Okay. Uh, uh, um. Okay. What's in the bottle? Oh, why it's called bottle happiness.
Okay. Oh. No. I will say this dude's voice is familiar to me. I just can't figure out like match it to to the person. Aww. Aww. He's so sweet. You are just so fucking adorable. I love you. <laughs> Cute. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe a little too excited to do, you know, you're up here to bring it down here. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, you know. I mean, we're talking about her so much. Let's see her. Let me guess, you're Nino. Oh. Yeah, she's gotta be Nino. She can't say no to that. Something about this seems very off. I mean, mm. Yeah, because her parents raised her right, her, you know, 
teacher also raised her right, just saying. Is there something wrong with Elena's attire? Do you not like it? My fucking hair is just in the way. <laughs> I mean, Elena looks fine! Look at the bread. Oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Well, you just take a little bit of everything and then that'll be your small portion. Is Nino gonna eat though? Nino, did you eat? I think she's not going to eat till later. That's not fair. <laughs> and you didn't feel like doing it yourself? It's not her fault, though. There you go. No, Nino, it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. And not you, Nino. Then why didn't you? Be careful with it though, okay?
Hmm. Like memories. You look prettier if you smile. Oh, you know. There you go. Hopefully your dad's not still here, though. Because your dad's an ass. That's how Nino feels. Why would you give me two sad episodes in one? You're right about that, though. She wanted to be free. This, oh God, how do you, how do you go from an episode from last week that was so kind, so sweet and gentle about a girl who wanted to be a witch and wanted to have her sister with her no matter what, to two, not one, but two sad episodes. Just, oh my God. They both, both stories were hella sad, especially the girl who is pretty as flowers. That was really sad. Bottled happiness was sad as well, but we didn't really get to see Nino um, kill herself. Thank God we didn't see that because I didn't want to see that. But you could tell on her face that she was super depressed. And I think eventually it would have happened even if um, the boy gay didn't give her that bottle happiness. She was tired of, you know, getting hit and stuff and like that. So in a way, she is free. Um... The girl who's pretty as flowers and that ending with all these zombified flower people going towards the town. What the hell was that? Who ends at that part? I mean, seriously. That's messed up. That was a really good, like, mini little episode. But, oh, I mean, here's one thing I'm going to say. If it's supposed to be... If these stories that we're seeing are in the light novel of the series, then I have to read that to know what happens next. Maybe we get a little more con you know what? Let me look up real quick on Amazon. Um, maybe we do get a little more context on that story. But like, oh my god. To to end with all these zombified flower people all going towards the town. What what happened? <laughs> I mean Oh my god, you you just can't leave me like that. Like, that's really, really messed up. And, oh uh, god, that and just, ugh. Oh god, no. They have book one. So, let's see. Book one, is there a book two? There's book two. Um, book three? Uh, no, it's manga. So, light novel one and two, manga volume one. I might have to read this. Like, oh, I because if this story, if both of these stories are in 
the light novel, the manga, maybe there's still a little more context. Because with the bottled happiness, that is its beginning, middle, and end with Nino eventually, you know, and I hate saying it, killing herself because that's the only way that she can be free. Even though um, the guy who had a crush on her was basically like, no, I want you to stay here with me. But even if she did, did stay in the end, she still would have felt nothing but pain and emotional every single day. She would have like felt trapped in this never-ending story. That was her hell ever since um, the, guy, the boy's father bought her and brought her home. And so because of the fact is she's like, I... I I need to be free. I need to be away from this. But it's really sad how we got two hella sad episodes today with this two-in-one miniseries. I mean, oh, I, I like the way they went. I like that we got two different stories in one. I hope they'll um, do that again. Maybe, not maybe next week, but maybe like two or three weeks later. But like, oh, they were both good. I just was not imagining for this to happen and succumb, but they were really good. I mean, you know, for the month of October, my birthday month, I loved it. It was really good. I love to see like a little bit of spooky, sad stories for it because I mean, we're in the month of Halloween, so we're supposed to get like some spooky, scary, sad stories. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode three of Wandering Witch. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.